heart. I want out of here, and I want out today. I hear you, Luke. I hear you. Ramsey says it's still not safe out there on the streets. They're still trying to round up people in the little black book of Frank Smith's. I don't care what Ramsey says. I'm checking out of Vacation Village. He wants to keep me here another 24 hours. Howard, let him press charges. Luke, he's only trying to keep you from getting killed. Now, why are you giving him such a hard time? Listen, man, I didn't risk my life all summer to sit here in protective custody and rot! We're talking about a couple of days, a couple hey, of more... What what's this about? I can hear you guys way down the hall. Hello, Joe. My lawyer here wants to keep me locked up the rest of my life, Joe. And Luke here wants to go out on the streets where he can be a moving target. Oh, come on, man. We've had Don't start awesome. with me, Joe. We've talked about this, and you know how I feel. I want to get out of here. Laura called today, and she wants to talk to you. I don't want to hear that name. Not from you, and not from you. Do you understand? Look, I'm going to leave this message just one more time and tell Captain Ramsey that I expect his cooperation in this matter. I tried to visit Luke Spencer all day yesterday without any success, and I intend to try again today, all day today. Now, if he doesn't want a scene down there today, then I suggest you tell Captain Ramsey that I want to hear from him with the information that I am allowed to see Luke Spencer. Is that clear? Good, good, thank you. I'll get it. Lee, it's Laura. Well, good morning. Uh, look, I know it's early, but I wanted to catch you before you left the house. I have to see you. What, today? Yes, as soon as possible. It's very important to me. Well, all right. I can stop by on my way to work, I suppose. Thank you. I'd really appreciate... Oh, uh, uh, by the way, I'm not at the house. I'm at the apartment. The apartment? Yes, I couldn't stay at my mother's house. Well, all right, then. Uh, little surprise, that's all. You don't mind if I bring Gail along, do you? No. As a matter of fact, I think that's a good idea. It's family business, and I want to get it settled. All right. Well, we'll see you in a little while, then. Thank you. I'll be expecting you. Is that you all right? Yes, I will be once we get this all settled. Uh, I'll see you soon, all right? Bye-bye. Well, you may not think it's such a good morning when you see this. What? What is it? Bad news. What's wrong? We hate to break it to you like this, but we figured it's better for us to break it to you than you fighting about it yourself. About what? It's Amy. Bro, I feel terrible that I wasn't able to stop her, but I just couldn't. Stop her from what? What's happened to her? Is she all right? Nothing's happened to her. Take a look. I don't understand. It's the first installment in a series of articles about you by Amy Vining, as told to your friendly reporter. The late story talks about how Scotty walked out on you the day you came back to Port Charles. Amy did this? I, I can't believe it. I don't understand it. Read it yourself, babe. I absolutely don't believe that she did this. Why? I wish I knew. What if Luke sees this? Uh, honey, I am so sorry. I mean, I just feel sick about it. Not as sick as I do. Oh, I have to see Luke. I have to see Luke before he sees this. I have to explain. Otherwise, he's going to think that... I I, Scotty left me, and I couldn't make things work out with him, so I went back to Luke. He's never going to trust me again. He'll never believe me again. Well, look, what are you going to do about Amy, Laura? Brian, I've never been able to do anything about Amy. Right now, all I care about is explaining this to Luke before he hears about it from somebody else. 
Well, I think somebody ought to talk to him because I think that was a pretty rotten thing for her to do. How could you do something like this for publication? What would make you think you had the right? I didn't mean to. He just sort of talked me into it. Sort of. It seems to me he did a bang-up job. Well, I guess he was just a little more clever than I was. Then you should have been cleverer. This is nothing but cheap sensationalism. Did it never occur to you that you might have been hurting Laura? No. I was trying to help her. By something like this? Well, I tried not to say anything that I shouldn't, but some things just sort of slipped out while I was trying to defend her. Promise me you will never defend her again. It may be her only chance for survival. Leslie, I don't blame you for being mad. I was mad when I read it, too. I mean, he twisted everything that I said. That's what reporters do. Reporters twist everything everybody says. You, you've been around this family long enough. You have seen all of us involved in front page stories long enough to know that, that the press can hurt innocent people. I didn't think. I will admit that I was wrong, but I meant well. Now, if I could do it over again, I would keep my big mouth shut, but I can't. And since I can't, your yelling doesn't do any good. I am not yelling. Yes, you are, and I don't think it's fair because I was only trying to be loyal to my sister. And what I said was true. Scotty did desert her. I do think it was terrible, and I don't care who knows it. Oh. Good heavens. Uh... What's going on in here? A small domestic argument. Uh, it didn't sound very small to me. Oh, was it about that interview that Amy gave? Of course it was, and I was giving her hell about it. Well, did she say why she did it? Sure, to defend Laura, she said. It all got twisted, she said. She was tricked. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was. Maybe it was totally innocent as far as Amy was concerned. But she has obviously given this guy enough stuff for the next three weeks. Well, I suppose so. And you can just bet they're going to get all the mileage out of it that they can. And I just don't know what a story like this is going to do to Laura at this time. Not to mention Luke. <laughs> <laughs> 